Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And today we got to see the very first trailer for the new movie, The Kitchen, coming out later on this year, starring Melissa McCarthy, Tiffany Haddish, and Elizabeth Moss. And if you're thinking to yourself, why, Matt, are you talking about this movie? You don't care about Melissa McCarthy. She's been dead to you ever since her comments surrounding fans of Ghostbusters for all these years. Why do you care? Well, I care because this is actually an adaptation of a graphic novel, or well, really a comic book series called The Kitchen. And coming over here to DC Comics, or Comixology, this is their description that says here, the Irish gangs of Hell's Kitchen rule the neighborhood, doing the dirty work for the Italian mafia. Jimmy Brennan and his crew were the hardest bastards in the kitchen, but after they're all put in prison, and their wives decide to keep running their rackets. And this is a very interesting concept. You've got three mob wives whose husbands are locked up and they end up deciding to take on the system themselves and become mobsters and then get a, get, get a, get a love of it, get a, get a feel for it. Right. And I think it's a very fascinating concept, especially because it's coming from Andrea Burloff, who was the screenwriter of uh, Straight Outta Compton. This is her, I believe, directorial debut. And I did feel that Straight Outta Compton was a very well-written movie. Of course, F. Gary Gray really brought it directorially, but this one should be interesting to see. And watching the trailer of it, it does feel like there's going to be a lot of style, uh, a stylized violence and over-the-top characters, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be a lot of fun because what we have here is kind of an uncanny story, right? Or a, kind of an untold story. Uh, one that's very female centric, very female powered and very female driven. And in the age of comic book adaptations, we don't see a lot of that, which actually has me interested. The comic itself is very well regarded. And I think it's going to be interesting to see if they if they move to adapt it. Now, the trailer only kind of showed perhaps the setup, right? So what I think is going to happen, because I haven't read the comic, I haven't, I, I've only been able to see the very b brief description of the, uh, of the movie. And I think they're holding off a lot of that info as we get closer to the film coming out. But what it tells me is that we're going to be uh, seeing like these women battle against the Irish mafia, because the way trailer sets it up is that the, the men go away and they get, you know, they get a bit of a per diem from the mobsters that they take care of their family, but the money's not enough. And that could be either the Italians or the, the Irish. And it does kind of feel like it is going to be more of the Italians, which does make a lot of sense because I was kind of confused by the trailer because they're not really establishing the Irish versus the Italians or the Irish working with the Italians. But when they go over to Brooklyn, Brooklyn being more predominantly Italian, at least that's what you think mobster wise in the trailer, they do have a, a comment saying, if we go over into Brooklyn, we're going to die. And this is there in Hell's Kitchen. So it does make sense that in this particular case, these three women are going to basically take over the Irish mafia inside Hell's Kitchen and start pushing back against the Italians. And that, of course, is going to lead to probably a fair amount of violence and bloodshed and gore and craziness. But the other part of that, looking into the comic a little bit more, just from a general overview, halfway through, it does appear, and this could be potentially a sequel, is that the husbands get out of jail and then there becomes that power dynamic. And this kind of harkens back to some extent to World War II, when the men were overseas fighting in the war and the women were picking up the slack in the factories, then the husbands came home and there was that kind of power struggle that happened. And I think it's a weird you know, metaphor for that, but this could kind of be looking at it from that particular lens, which again is fascinating and one that we don't get to see explored very often. Uh, I do like Elizabeth Moss. I always have liked her as an actress. I look Ghostbusters 2016 aside, I have been a Melissa McCarthy fan since 2010 when I started watching Mike and Molly and Tiffany Haddish doesn't really do it for me in any particular way. I don't think she's that funny. But I think seeing her kind of be more in a dramatic role could be interesting, you know, because what do they say? Drama is just uh, comedy plus or no, what it was comedy. It's 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 a tragedy plus time equals comedy. So kind of going back to the tragedy part of it, I guess, could be this particular film. And I'm hoping that it's a good movie because I want to see these types of one off uh, odd comics get the adaptation. I like seeing these sort of things get adapted. That's not just, you know, Marvel and DC. You know, I, I love seeing V for Vendetta. I loved Watchmen, even though Alan Moore hates the adaptations of those films and a lot of his fans hate the adaptations of those films. The fact that they were actually able to make those was pretty cool to me. I, I'm very glad that we got to see those. I'm glad that we get some of those weird comic adaptations from time to time that might be able to find themselves with a cold audience. Go back to 2010, April 2010, and The Losers came out. 
Remember that movie, Chris Evans, Clive Owens, Idris Elba? You know, I mean, like it was a fun movie for back then, but it just didn't do enough to warrant getting a sequel, even though it does have a bit of a cult following. And I could see that being the case for this movie. Now, another reason why I think this movie could potentially do well is because it is going to very heavily play to the female audience. Uh, we've been learning more and more and more that as it comes to a, a demographic breakdown for, uh, for film goers, women are taking up more than men. I believe I just read that 58% of all film of film goers now are actually women. And so movies that cater to that audience, cater to that demographic are going to potentially have the chance to do better. And when you've got Melissa McCarthy, Elizabeth Moss and Tiffany Haddish in a film like this, that is going to, you know, that does kind of have the makings to bring in a fair amount of people, a uh, fair amount of women to see this movie and maybe even a fair amount of men who are just kind of curious to check it out. So this movie in my, in my interpretation is a very interesting experiment in comics adaptations. That's how I view it. That's, that's how I'm approaching this movie. It's just more, it's more of an experimental film versus uh, anything else. And that might be minimizing it a little bit. I can understand if people might think that it's not my intent, but that's kind of how I'm viewing it because it's an oddball property that uh, came out 2014, 2015. And, you know, people liked it, but it wasn't really big. It wasn't mainstream. Now we're getting an adaptation of this that's been in the works since 2017. And it stars three very popular women in Hollywood. So we'll have to wait and see how it plays out if the content is meaty enough in order to warrant what's going to be coming from it. And I think with Andrea uh, Burloff uh, and her writing of, of, you know, again, Stay to Compton, very meaty script, very meaty story to tell. And she did a great job adapting it. So I have a feeling that she could do the same thing here. And I am excited to see what comes from it. But anyway, look, I'll leave it to you. What's your guys' thoughts on this one? Let me know down in the comments below. Is this something you're interested in? You're not interested in? I really want to hear it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have yourself a great day and peace out.